The Minister for Lands, Judith Nabakoba, has concluded a three day working tour of Ankole sub region with an engagement in Imbara City. <laughs> This was after learning that Uganda Supreme Council complains of an encroachment on a 47.8 hectare chunk of land in Kashenyi village. This land belongs to Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. It was apportioned to Uganda Muslim Supreme Council in 1928 during the colonial administration. Nabakova guided the parties on the way forward. We need uh, justice to us, either paying our land or be compensated and to buy another land. That's all what we want. It is true, land was given to them according to the few reports I've managed to scan through. But again, they are bona fide and lawful occupants on the Muslim land. So we cannot resolve the matter now. But in two weeks, I have promised them that I'm going to send a team that is going to come on ground, sit with both sides, including their leaders, and come up with practical recommendations or solutions. Earlier, the minister was in Rangiru Ward, still in Mbara City, to address people's concerns. Eviction is not an option. Now the question is simple. They want to legalize their existence so that they can also benefit from those other benefits you have been hearing of having a land title. Claims ranging from fraudulent acquisition to forceful evictions were among the many concerns raised in this meeting. Please be before end of March. I need a report for the boundary opening exercise. Then that will inform the next step. And during that exercise, if there is anybody with a title, I think that will be the opportunity now for the same people so to be known. In all cases, Minister Nabakova emphasized that no one should be evicted. President Museveni told me that wherever you find my people, and they are seated on land which belongs to government or public, the priority should go to the seating tenants, not to other people. Robert Onyango, UBC News, Mbara City.